Hey everyone, thanks for visiting my channel, Tech Connect. Today I have a review for you of the Nvidia Shield TV second generation. It's the latest version of the Shield that just came out this week. Before we get started, please consider hitting that subscribe button below this video so you can always find your way back to my channel. And if you really like my videos, hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. That just lets you know when I release a new video. Okay guys, I'm gonna sum up the new shield for you right at the beginning of the video. Nvidia made the new shield cheaper, they removed a couple of minor features, and it has the exact same CPU and GPU. But they added a free remote in the box, a much improved Bluetooth controller, and added a lot of improvements in the software. So if you have the original shield, don't upgrade. You'll get the new software features for free with the next update soon. But if you've been waiting to see what Nvidia was gonna release, I think it's a pretty good time to buy since there are a few upgrades at the same price. First, let's compare this new shield to the original shield. The new shield is about 40% smaller and it's much lighter than the original. I really like this new size. The original shield had a touch, sleep, slash, wake button on the body. That's gone on the new shield, at least on the 16 gigabyte version. It's just an imprint in the plastic now. The micro SD card slot has been removed as well. I won't miss the micro SD card that much because flash drives are usually a bit faster than micro SD card slots anyways. So here's the way I'm running my shield. I've got this tiny little Samsung 64 gigabyte flash drive, which I'm using as adoptable storage. This way my 16 gig shield becomes an 80 gigabyte shield. Apps and games are stored to both the drive and internal memory. This drive can read at over 130 megabytes per second and write at about 100 megabytes per second. That's faster than pretty much any micro SD card. The Shield supports adoptable storage up to 128 gig drives. I'll add a link in the description to some good USB drives. Also, if you get the Shield Pro, it still has a micro SD card and power button. First off, let's take a look at some of the new software on here because this is one of the big improvements of the new Shield. You can see it's got Amazon Video, which has been much sought after on Android devices. You've also got Vimeo, Twitter, NFL, Comedy Central. Those weren't available on the Shield before. This is also running the newest version of Android, which is Nougat 7.0. In the settings menu, you can see it's completely different than the older Shield software. It's got many more settings. You can also see here in the display properties that you can run at 4K up to 60 frames per second. And there's an option for 444 color, which is your high dynamic range. Here's one of my favorite new software features on the Shield, and that is a multitask button. Just double tap the home button on the remote and you can quickly jump in and out of different apps. Pretty sweet, right? And now we come to games. The Shield's main focus is gaming. It's without a doubt the best Android gaming box out there right now. The games you see here are all from the Google Play Store, and I like them because they're very inexpensive, usually from between $1 to $5. You can also stream higher end games to the Shield. Streaming is where the games are rendered on servers using NVIDIA's high-end GPUs. It actually works surprisingly well. Now they can even be streamed in HDR. You can also stream from your own PC with an NVIDIA graphics card to play in your living room on the Shield. Now let's take a look at the game controller because the new Shield has a redesigned controller. It's now lighter weight, it's thinner, and it has a new look. I really like the way it feels better. It's just more comfortable to hold. It's also Bluetooth now instead of Wi-Fi, and I think it's actually more responsive. And since it's Bluetooth, you can even use it with other devices now, which I think is a big plus. Oh, and don't forget, you can hook headphones or headphones with a mic up to the Shield controller. And I just tested these and the audio quality is really good actually. Also these are Bluetooth noise cancelling headphones, so for a test I hooked them directly to the Shield using the Bluetooth and they worked perfectly. The Shield also has Chromecast functionality, so you can screen mirror or send videos from your phone or tablet to your big screen TV so everyone can watch them at once. It even works with Apple devices to cast videos from your phone to your TV. And of course this goes way above and beyond what even the best Chromecast can do because you can install all the apps and games on here. And finally, I want to talk about the voice assistant because it's really good on the new Shield. Not only can you launch apps by voice, but you can search within most apps by voice now too. You can also ask it questions and it will answer you on screen and by speaking, and it gets most things right. I'm pretty impressed. How far is it to Portland? The drive from your location to Portland is 431.7 miles. 
What is the square root of 10,526? Square root 10,526 is approximately 102.596. What is the weather like in Honolulu? It's 73 degrees and cloudy in Honolulu. Launch Netflix. What day will Halloween fall on in 2020? Halloween is on Saturday, October 31st, 2020. There's also a speaker and mic coming out called the NVIDIA Spot. It's only about the size of a golf ball and it plugs into an outlet and then wirelessly connects to the shield. It'll have Google Voice capabilities plus it will have control of the shield so you can tell it what you want to display. When the spot comes out you won't even need a remote at all to control the shield. This is the first time I've really been excited about Google Home hardware. To sum everything up, the shield is an excellent Android gaming console and media player. I love the addition of the Amazon video app. It costs the same as the old Shield, but you get a free remote and a better controller too. I really like the updated software. It's packed with so many features and improvements. Now if you already own the original Shield, I just wait for the NuGet update to come out because you should get most of the features from the new software. If you haven't bought a Shield yet, this is a good one to buy. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll have links to everything in the video in the description down below. And if you like this video, be sure and hit that subscribe button and that like button, it'll help me out a ton. Thanks so much for all your support. And as always, aloha.